GTA 6 leaks and information have been coming out at rapid rates over these last few weeks and today we are going to be showing you guys 21 of the brand new leaked weapons coming into GTA 6 along with new information about gameplay mechanics and an entire revamp to the weapon wheel system that we know and love here in GTA. So first things first we're going to start off with the 21 confirmed weapons coming out into GTA. Obviously over time they will add a lot more as the game will have a ton of updates that come out over its life span and also all of these weapons are 100% confirmed because they were found in the early alpha gameplay they got leaked over a year ago they were all seen in game obviously very low quality but in no order here is the 21 weapons confirmed going to be in GTA 6 at its release Starting things off with, of course, the grenade. We also have the hunter sniper, a knife, a micro SMG, which looks very similar to the mini Uzi, Molotov cocktails, which is, of course, a staple in GTA, the straight up pistol, a pool cue, which is very, very interesting. And there is a few other very interesting weapons here, a pump action shotgun, an RPG, or some sort of uh, unaim assisted rocket launcher. And then we also have smoke grenades, a spear gun, which should be very interesting. Might be able to use that to do some type of fishing in the ocean we have the unarmed fist which is of course uh, a staple of gta as well and then moving on to the last section of weapons here we have the assault rifle which looks very similar to an ak-47 or some version of that we have a baseball bat a bolt action sniper rifle which will probably do a lot more damage than the other one we have a compact smg that kind of gives off the scorpion vibe from black ops 1 if you guys remember playing that game we have a crowbar a fire bottle which is a little bit weird because that's basically what a molotov cocktail is. So we're not really sure if Rockstar might end up changing this one a little bit or if it's just going to be a redesigned version of the Molotov. We don't really know yet. And then we have a flashbang, a golf ball, and also a golf club. So in GTA 6, you will be able to tee up a golf ball and hit it at people and use it as a weapon. And I'm sure you'll be able to go up and beat people down with the golf club itself as well. So some interesting weapons so far. And you guys got to keep in mind, this is only weapons that are confirmed because we saw them in the early alpha gameplay. So there will probably be a lot more weapons coming out at the launch of GTA 6 and of course when we get more information we'll be keeping you guys up to date on everything that we know. And now that you guys have seen the 21 leaked weapons and guns so far we can get into new information about the weapon wheel and also bonus items and equipment because this is also a big part of GTA I think people kind of forget about. But to start things off it goes on to say the weapon wheel has been redesigned and it's similar to Red Dead 2 with the ability to switch to equipment and gear with R1 slash RB. So all of your weapons and equipment equipment will be all in the same weapon wheel and you'll be able to flip between the two using the triggers on your controller which is very very convenient and in case you guys have never seen or played Red Dead 2 here is what their weapon wheel looks like in that game you guys got to keep in mind Rockstar does design this game so it is very similar to the GTA weapon wheels it'll just be implementing a few new factors from Red Dead that we've never seen in GTA so that should be pretty interesting it also says you can carry weapons on your back and it looks like you can only carry two rifles and two pistols at once like in Red Dead 2 while probably storing your other weapons in your car or house wherever you stay. There is also the ability to drop unwanted weapons as well as dedicated animations when picking up weapons which of course we all knew that. You could switch hands when carrying or shooting a weapon meaning you can decide to shoot with your left hand instead of your right. Now this is actually something new to GTA because this should come into play for you guys that like to do the PvP stuff online. Switching and peeking different angles around uh, the map and buildings and stuff depending on the different camera angles and where you're trying to look switching weapons and what side your guy actually leans to when looking down the site is actually going to come in handy so it's going to be really cool that you can kind of change the pov and camera angles a little bit by changing what hand your guy is actually going to be using the gun with so i think this is a really cool feature and i can't wait to see what it looks like in game now they also go on to say some weapons and items are also referred to as shared possibly meaning there is both an individual and a shared inventory between the two protagonists so whenever you are doing the main storyline for GTA 6. There is two main characters that have been leaked so far. We're going to make future videos talking about this, so don't worry. But they think that there is going to be a shared inventory that when you switch between the characters and the storyline and doing the campaign and missions, you can still keep some of your items and use them on both, as opposed to having two completely separate inventories and maybe getting annoyed that you don't have good weapons on one and all your other stuff is on the other. So this should be really interesting, and I think that would be a great addition to the game. You can carry a duffel bag, which could serve to store loot or possibly other weapons so this will be another way to carry more weapons other than the two ARs and two pistols on your back so it'll be cool to see how that plays out and then finally here there are also additional item slots for painkillers health kit and body armor and there are references to 
RPG elements that will play a factor in the game, such as food, drink, sweat, fatigue, and also animal taming. So this version of GTA is going to be a lot more realistic in terms of keeping your character healthy, hydrated, and all that stuff. So it's very exciting because it's going to be the most realistic version of GTA that we've probably ever seen before. And just as a little bonus here, there's also some more equipment that was seen in the early alpha gameplay and the files that were leaked. We have a torch flashlight, a flashlight, binoculars, a tracker jammer, a mobilizer bypass, an auto dialer, a USB drive, a lock pick, a slim jim, a cutoff tool, and also zip ties that you can use to handcuff hostages is also confirmed. So there is going to be some new equipment here that we've never seen before. Handcuffing hostages with zip ties seems pretty interesting, and I cannot wait to see what the Slim Jim looks like. I'm not sure if this is just going to be a food item that gives you energy, or if you're going to literally be able to go up to people and beat them down with a Slim Jim in your hand. Either way, <laughs> I think it's going to be a great addition to the game, and this makes me very excited to hopefully see the rest of the items and weapons coming to GTA since there most likely will be a lot more than just the 21 we looked at in today's video. But with that being said, that's all we got for you guys today. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. We're going to be posting daily GTA 6 leaks and news content here on the channel. You guys are not going to want to miss it.